Hello everyone and welcome to the Midas Gen webinar for buildings and general structure design uh, which is streamlined with a BIM interface. My name is Adam Kane, I am the technical support engineer at Midas and uh, details on the screen if you have any problems or you wish to contact us. I'm just going to carry on and go straight into the presentation. Right, so I just want to give you some of the ground rules and general housekeeping. So how to use GoToWebinar. First of all, if you want to make it go full screen, then just click on the boxes overlaying each other. If your screensaver happens to kick in uh, or goes blank, then please just either set it to off or wiggle the mouse before it actually does so. Right. We're using the go to webinar dialog box. If you click on the red arrow, it will minimize it to make it go to a narrow, thin strip. If you wish to ask questions, you can post them in the dialog box, and we will have somebody on standby from our technical support team answering any questions. So, just going to give you a brief introduction to Midas. Midas is a world lead engineering software solution developer and distributor. We've got the number one market share in terms of civil engineering software solutions sold. And we've got over 450 engineers and professionals working for the company. We distribute in over 120 countries. We've sold to over 10,000 clients and we've sold over 30,000 licenses. So just to give you a brief overview, we do provide the complete software solution package. Today I will be going through the building and structural engineering software, Midas Gen. Uh, we also have such things as DShop on the bottom there. We also do the, build, the Bridges software in terms of Midas Civil and high-end non-linear analysis in the form of Midas FEA. We do the geotechnical software packages both in 3D and 2D and we also do the mechanical engineering software as well. So just a brief snapshot there. Just to let you know, these we do provide free training. Uh, not only do we support you through your validation period and you get the full support and we also work with you on live projects but we also provide the training online through these web based sessions where you can actually select or just um, email in any requests or any anything you're interested in learning and it's uh, fully interactive as well. So just to briefly take you over the structural analysis software Midas Gen for buildings. So we can do all types of buildings, reinforced concrete steel and composite, uh, any type of structure, it doesn't matter on the size or the complexity of the geometry. Uh, we do the high-end or tall buildings in the form of the column shortening prediction and design. We do the post-tension and pre-stress concrete analysis. And we can even do all the non-linear seismic performance and everything like that. So just to go through a few of the project application areas. Uh, the Burj Khalifa, an 840 meter high building, uh, Moscow City Palace Tower, and also the Beijing National Stadium there. So just going straight into Midas Gen, and I'll briefly give you a project overview. Product overview, sorry. So we've got comprehensive design to all the world's leading codes, including Eurocode and BS standard. We have an intrusive user interface which I'll take you to into in the next couple of slides with a work tree and everything like that. We've got wind loading which is all automatic, automated and we've increased productivity with the automatic assignment of floor loads, auto meshing features, automatic selection of reinforcement, uh, steel optimization, and the dynamic report generator at the end. Uh, we have a large range of different analysis capabilities in the form of the P-delta and large displacement analysis for cables uh, including dynamic analysis and everything like that. So just take you into the graphic user interface. So just bring it across the uh, user interface. So you have it, it was uh, Midas Gen open. So first of all we'll go from the top down. So some of the menus. So just go through modeling and everything's just all along the top, so properties, boundary conditions, elements, nodes, uh, building and story data. And you've got all the loads, or uh, assignment of different loads going all the way down through, a very comprehensive list. And then you go through to analysis and results and then design. 
and it's all built up chronologically uh, if you don't want to go from the top we've got the ribbon type technology going across as well where you can select them and we can also do it within the working space as well so just a simple right click and we can access anything within the working space of the window so just go on just a few more of the easy select features so we can go up to all the different activation features here so we could just simply carry out select function and just by selecting something you can isolate it let's bring everything back online um, we have our works tree as well so just go through we can also control everything within the geometry here but also you've got your menu tables as well so you can look at any of the structural elements and the nodal positions so just get a nice table of all the different nodal positions let's close that window go back so go back to the main view we've got different groups you can group things together so say if I want to select the shear walls you can select them isolate them again then bring them back up so let's just go for the activate all so here you have the works tree as well and this is where all of your information is built up chronologically you could go down through the materials so for example if I double click on the material then it will give you all the layers that were built up in concrete so let's select those Ooh. so all the materials built up there we can even go in and we can change these materials if we so wish so it goes down to properties and it opens up and you see we've got all the actual codes and we've actually got all the material types as well just go down to cancel. I just want to show you the same in the sections. Let's just go down to sections here. And we can select any section. There's all selection. And we can even drag and drop. So just for so I say, just want to drag and drop something else across. And all the sections have now changed within that. We've also got an unlimited undo function. So we just want to undo what we've just done there. We go down through just to show you all the different sections. Just go to properties. And this is the concrete section is user defined. We can select any other section as well, so say if you want to select an I section, you want it from the database, you can select all the different codes, BS and Eurocode, and then you can actually select the different section. So just to show you that, and just to briefly, one more, and just to show you the load, so just to show you the pressure loads, I just want to display them. So that's the pressure loads going up through every single floor. Just to give you a brief overview, so you just want to undisplay that, and you can graphically look at any number of different loading conditions on working window. We can even look at the reinforcement detailing as well and we can manipulate that and change this within this window once the design has been carried out. At the bottom we have our unit conversion so just different units we can select, different measurements we can select as well and that will assist you with your input data and then we've got all our views down the other side so now I'm just going to take you back into the presentation. So we've got various different useful functions and windows. So within one working window you can look at all the models and all tables at the same time. We can look at the, the frame, the hidden view or the inactive view just here. We can also look at a multitude of different tables within one working window. And we can also look at different various types of graphical representations for your results. So your contour plots and everything like that. We can set the transparency view of any layer. So it means you can look through to the superstructure underneath. We also have a walkthrough both in the, the pre-processing and the post-processing mode. So that means that if you do want to look through and go through all your bending moments and everything like that, then you can actually walk through. We do have a data exchange and also an interaction with Tecla and Revit. So one of the key things in the newly developed release. So our Revit interface, you can take over any material or any section so that means that you can take over all of your beams columns slabs including all your openings and all your walls uh, reinforcement all your basements and everything like that can come across over into Midas gem and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you over so just going to bring over the Revit modeling space Okay, this is the model in Revit. I just want to quickly show you the analytical model. Right, so this is the analytical model. These are all the structural elements that will come over into Midas Gen. Just make sure when you are in Revit, then you've got the correct connectivity and you have created the analytical model or the structural elements. 
So just using an external tool, we can send the model straight over to Midas Gen by creating a, a text file. So we can select the mesh size. So if we want it a really fine mesh, we can have it normal. We can even have it coarse, going all the way through. So we just want a very fine mesh to bring it across. We can change the units before it comes across as well. And we can do the export target with the all, or we can do the visible objects only in the current view. So that means that if you do want to select a, a number of elements and bring them straight across, you can. So we can select the code for concrete and also for steel. And we just send that straight across. Just bear with it a couple of seconds. So now it's uh, finished doing the file transfer, just go straight over. So it's quite quick for a relatively simple model. So just go to the import function and import in an MGT file and that will open up with all these structural elements that have come across from the Revit. So as you can see the whole model is built up, I'm just going to flick the nodes off to go out to display and that is all of the mesh that's come across, as you see it's a very fine mesh and all the elements and everything's come across over from Revit into Midas Gem. and all the openings as well. So and even the uh, the piles for the foundations and all of the arches and everything, it doesn't matter on the, the complexity of the geometric shape, it all comes across. Even the actual material types and also all the sections. And we can just change those as well. I've shown the import function. So we can merge different data files so if you have got a combination of or a team of people working on different levels of a building you can combine them at the end we've got quick and easy selection features so just to do it on identity you can also select it on floors and do the activation much like I did in the demonstration the user coordinate system is actually like a AutoCAD where you can manipulate it and change it around you can also have a multitude, a multitude of different user coordinate systems as well <clears throat> we've got the unit conversion which you can do at any point in time we also have the unlimited undo and redo feature so for the model data generation we're just going to go through some of the material sections so these are all, we have all the codes from across the world including BS and uh, Euro code <clears throat> we can also have user defined materials so it doesn't matter what material type you have as long as you've got the modules of modules of elasticity then you can actually build up the material properties and carry out the analysis on it we do have time dependent materials in the form of creep and shrinkage effect and also the compressive strength <coughs> uh, we do have a, a variety of different sections built into the database as well all up to the BS and Eurocode standard if you if the, the section isn't available or it is a highly irregular section you can create it in the section property calculator from the section property calculator it will build up all of the properties of the section and then you can bring it straight into Midas Gen you can also take CAD drawings and put them straight into this and bring them across into Gen as well straight into the section property calculator we do our built-in wizards for the for arch, shell, also for truss and plate along with a variety of others to make it quick and easy to build up models we do have the automatic generation of story data for your wind loading and everything like that. We can also create diaphragm can have diaphragm control, so that means you don't have to mesh all of your slabs if you do want to build a building up fast. We have the auto mesh generation, and it does take account for any openings within the slab, as you can see here on the screen where I'm waving my mouse. We also can generate the walls as well, uh, build up stories quickly and easily using the building generation and then carry out your your results and analysis and then also your design for the loads and boundary conditions we've got a 
comprehensive list of different uh, loads. So self weight at the top there, going down through nodal load, prescribed displacements. We so do the element beam loads, line beam loads, floor loads. And we've just to go on to the more high end ones where we've got vibrational hill drop load and time history loads. We can also do the wind and seismic load generation as well, and floor loads are automatically distributed through beams and columns. Uh, we can do pressure loads as well, as you can see you have a hole in the web and the stiffener plates. So just to show you a few loads over in the program and how to apply them. So we can select it by different floors and we have all the, sto uh, the story data built up to the side. We can do our lateral loads in the form of wind loads and we can We've already got two existing, but I'll just add another one. So we've got the Euro code there, you've also got BS standard. We can change any of the wind load parameters. We can also change the direction as well. And it'll automatically be distributed. And there's the wind load profile and the story shear and the overturning moment. You can even look at a, a document relating to the wind loading on the building for our report. So just to carry on. So there was our wind loading. So just a static wind loading and seismic loading is also up to the BS standard in Eurocode. Uh, dynamic loads as well. So for response spectrum or earthquake response spectrum analysis, we also took the time varying loads in the form of the hill drop load. So walking, jogging and crowd loading. Hydrostatic pressure loads and earth pressure loads can be uh, placed on the back of earth retaining structures or basement walls. This is a dam being illustrated here in the image. Uh, we can take the loads to masses, very important for your vibration analysis. So just to convert them automatically. Uh, different applicable boundary conditions. So we've got many, a variety of different supports for any scenario. So just normal supports, point spring supports, general spring supports and pile spring supports as well, which I'll go into a, a brief bit more detail in a moment. So this is the, the spring supports. What will happen is with your SI or your soil investigation, you'll take your modules of subgrade reaction and feed it into the program and then into Midas Gen and it will automatically generate the point spring supports for the piles. We can also, you don't need nodal connectivity for this either, so say you're working with a flat slab on a basement floor, then you don't have to, you can actually set a grid up so it actually generates the springs going across the whole floor. So just going into analysis capabilities, these are some of the available analysis types. So just take you down through, so just go through static analysis, dynamic analysis, Free, including free vibration response spectrum and time history. Uh, we also do the geometric non-linear analysis in the form of P-delta and the large displacement of cables. And we do have the cable element built into the program. Uh, we do the material non-linear analysis including masonry, uh, linear buckling analysis including lateral torsional buckling, heat transfer analysis and going all the way down through and through pushover analysis. Construction stages as well. We can even look at the um, time varying analysis as well. So this is the floor vibration analysis or hill drop load, so the walking load, crowd loading or jogging. Uh, here is a little animation, we can animate anything within the program. So this is somebody walking from one side of the floor to the other side of the floor where the wall is, so where from the column to the wall on the opposite side and the vibration is being created. We can do the construction stage analysis, taking into account the creep, shrinkage and also compressive strength of the material. We also do the column shortening effect, and which takes into effect the elastic creep and shrinkage effects. So we can also do the pushover analysis and we can see the plastic hem point being created through the floors. As you see they're going up through the floor. We can do the heat of hydration analysis in the form of construction state in throughout construction stages as well. Just uh, two animations here. So this is with cooling pipes and without. 
We can also take into account the vulnerability of cracking at the surface and the stresses from within the concrete and the surface stresses as well. For the non-linear analysis, we can do the plastic analysis for concrete and steel, so when it's in its plastic state. We can also do the geometric non-linear analysis for cable supported structures taken in the large displacement within cables. We can do the structural masonry analysis taking into account the isotropic material types of the masonry. So this is the uh, masonry structure and you can see it's being pushed over by a force and the cracks being created on the surface and that is the vulnerability from cracking and also the stress that's going through the material as well. So just go through, as it is a finite element analysis program, we do have a, a, a long list of available element types. So the key ones here are the cable, which you can see. We also do the tapered beams, general beams as, of course as well, along with many others and uh, shear walls as well, just a key one. And when you're doing the bracing, it doesn't matter about if it's in tension compression, you can do that all within working space. So here you have the steel bracing in tension only, but you can do it also in compression, so it, you won't have to convert between the two. So we do the post-tensioning slabs as per, as per the equivalent of framing method. So auto meshing going down through dummy beams, applying pre-stressed tendons to dummy beams, considering motion of immediate and time dependent losses. Uh, tender definitions can be imported both in 2D and 3 you can also build them up within the program. And here are some of the bending moments and also the shear force diagrams as well. Uh, just going through the post processing. So bending moment diagrams are continuous and they go through and you can look at them in the, the weak and the strong axis in both axial directions. Uh, we can look at the beam detail analysis results as well and what I can do is take you over into the program just to show you some of the analysis results. So just a different material, it's just to select the steel, just want to isolate that. So we just carry out the forces and the beam diagrams. So just do I look at exact and solid, make sure we look at the, the legend at the side. And we can change the units as well at any time. So I'll just give you an illustration. So I just want to look at the fixed. I just want to isolate one of the, the sides. So I just want to look at the X and Z plane. Right. And we can look at the side view as well. So from this, you can see here that we've got all the bending moment diagrams and look at it in all directions. You can also save this image into a dynamic report as well, which we'll go through in a bit more detail later. Okay. So just to select a member, I want to do a beam detailed analysis. And that was the actual beam member. Just to go in and we can select that member again. As you see, we've got all of the bending moment diagrams, shears, bending moments, you can look at any section along the beam as well, you can also put in the value. We can check the stresses at any point of the beam or the member as well, going down through so as you can see the actual the stresses there. So just to bring straight across. So we can look at any of the displacement contours, visually you can walk through them. We can look at the stress contours as well. We can even annotate the stress contours going throughout. We can do cutting planes through any solid object to look at the stresses. So brief animation there. Uh, we do have all our table output, so all of the results are 100% Excel compatible. And we also have auto sorted function, powerful filtering functions built into the program. Uh, various editing function as well. We can even cut and paste uh, to the clipboard so you can take it into any other program including uh, Microsoft Office and Excel. Dynamic report here, so with a dynamic report a Word document will open within your working space as you can see that's Midas Gen there and a Word document within it. All of your tables, uh, reinforcements, uh, bending moment diagrams, uh, well pictures of the buildings or your fancy pictures you want, you build that up in your report tree and then you simply drag and drop from the report tree straight into the report and then if you hit the 
if you hit the if you do uh, carry out some more design or you change some of your design and you reanalyze it you hit the regenerate button and it'll regenerate all your images all your bending moment diagrams tables everything will uh, be updated within the report so now we're going to look through some of the design capabilities so everything is up to a Eurico standard for reinforced concrete steel and steel reinforced concrete we've got a footing design as well to the British standard uh, as part of our Eurocode implementation you've got it for materials, sections, loads we also did a pushover analysis and a full design so just to show you some of the design just instead of having it on a slide just want to quickly show you the uh, reinforced concrete design and a bit of steel design so just select a member so just go for column design so as you see it's just applied the reinforcement very quickly we also select that and we can also look at the graphic in the form of a summary report so we've got everything you need there for quick and easy checking, shear force capacity checks and the uh, the MN interactive diagram let's look at the PM interactive curve in 3D and manipulate it uh, we can also look at the different members obviously we've only got one here so we just select that member we can look at the detailed uh, and detailed report to the Eurocode so just to close that so we can look at the the steel as well so just select a couple of members so that's the bracing and also the uh, a, a column so just do a check and as you can see they've both passed if they were highlighted in red then they would be failed we look at the the graphic as well so we look at the summary report exactly the same thing and we can look at different pages so they can see the CHM tube and just to select that uh, and we can even we can carry out change so just to click on the change button and we can select the parameters of what we want it to be within we can even do the the combined ratio so if you want to say it to be between 60% of the capacity and 90% capacity you can just change some of those numbers and you'll come up with everything within the the frame as well so there's some of the different sections and we can change those over and we can even carry out the optimization by weight so that was just a brief snapshot of some of the results so so the optimal design feature, once you have changed your members and selected them and optimised your, you can optimise your design by iterating as per weight. Go down through. For we can do the meshed slab wall design and also the well the slab design and the wall design. We can even do it for the wood armor moment. So if you have got an irregular floor, you can take that in consideration. We can do all the slab flexural design, serviceability checking. Uh, punching shear and we can look at the wall design to Euroco 2 so just to look at some of the design features for a slab so just to isolate that now just by pressing F2 so there we've got the slab in place just look at the top just go down to design and do the slab flexural check so just look at the rebar and we just click apply now just to take a couple of seconds to go through this and put the reinforcement to the all the different elements or different plates so there is the distribution of reinforcement as you see we do have a legend down the side so we've got P12s at 300 in the top and P12s at 100 in the bottom you see that that's, uh, that's spread out now if we just update the the rebar it will go into our works tree we can also look at the report as well for all the different plates and where the reinforcement is distributed so now you have all of the actual reinforcement in the top and bottom of the slab and we can look at them and manipulate and change them if we so wish so if you want to change the reinforcement detailing throughout you can there you go now just go through some of the prop project application <coughs> excuse me now minus gen has been used all over the world for some of the most complex buildings let's take you through a few of them now so we've done worked in major national stadiums you can see the aquatic center there uh, gymnasiums anything with open spaces stadiums also airports and stadiums as well that's a gymnasium 
So as, been, as you can see, there are a multitude of different materials being used and also different geometric shapes. It doesn't matter how complex they become, it can still be handled within the program. You see the Kingdom Tower here, which is one of the uh, record-breaking building and all the construction stages being carried out. The business district there and the Birch Cliff are also designed on Midas Gen. So Mosquito Pads Tower. And as you see, high-rise buildings, we can also do the low-rise as well, or just single-story there. And thank you very much for attending the webinar. I hope it's been very informative. Uh, please remember that we do have training and YouTube videos all on the web. So if you just go to and search for Midas UK in YouTube, you can find all of our content there. We are having for students and we are having we have created learning packs as well, so please email into UK support at MidasUser.com for any information. My name's with Adam Kane and um thank you and I will say goodbye now and look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you.